Like governments all over the world, it became necessary for African governments to take action to shield their populations from the effects of the epidemic. This meant in many cases an increase in deficits due to unbudgeted expenditures. This has devastated many African economies and sunk them deeper into unsustainable debt and economic downturn. The pandemic has had a generally deleterious effect on the economy of African nations, but some countries have ridden the wave more successfully than others based on the resilience of their economies, discipline, and prudent use of their resource envelopes in the period of this crisis. In my country, Ghana, our economy has emerged in extremely poor shape from the COVID experience. A ballooning deficit, double-digit inflation, a nose-diving currency, increasing debt distress are some of the symptoms of a very ill economy. Ghana's case was easy to predict with the cavalier handling of the economy by the current administration, unbridled borrowing from the capital markets, creative misstatements of budget deficits and other critical fiscal figures were starting to come to a head eventually. Ghana went into the pandemic without adequate buffers and has emerged with a terribly battered economy. To make matters worse, a pandemic windfall of in excess of 33 billion Ghana cities which could have cushioned the economy, remains unaudited and is believed to have been used largely in the quest to win election 2020 at all costs. 